I've been fascinated with bighorn sheep ever since I was a young boy. However, I didn't realize how rare sheep hunting opportunities were until my early 20s when I started looking for tags. After two decades of applying, I became increasingly comfortable with the notion that I'd likely never have a tag of my own. I felt this way until Utah started issuing two archery-only permits to residents each year. The division had intentionally set the season dates to keep success rates low, so I knew that these tags would be slightly easier to attain. In Utah, you only get one shot at a desert sheep, whether you harvest or not. But life is short and sheep tags are virtually impossible to come by. At the end of the day, I figured I'd rather go down swinging with an archery only tag than to sit on the sidelines for another decade waiting for a better tag. I drew the Dirty Devil unit and we had 21 days to make something happen. What's going on now? They found a big ram. We're gonna look at where it's at because we may or may not be able to get to it, but they found a really big ram. Right out here. I don't, getting out to this is gonna be easy, but then I think this like little- what happens right here. I, you have to come and, around. And a guy has to remember this, these so. are one square mile. <laughs> 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 so it's not a small area. Game on, Jerry. <coughs> it's game on, buddy. I mean, there's a lot that has to go into getting there. But like we said before, our D6 cat has been there. We get 3D, so you can kind of. Holy cow. That's just a rough spot to get to, man. I think your only bet is if you get off here, you can side hill up, cross, and then you would have to come around. We got that big ram went around the backside on a little ridge. Can't see him, but we know where he's at. that can all it's up to but not guaranteed and all that kind of crap yeah like basically 200 give or take sheep tags a year in the entire u.s available to non-residents yeah for average joe's to be out hunting sheep it just seems about impossible <laughs> Ah, 
if there wouldn't be some laying Beautiful there. Beautiful arrowhead. You found that right there. Right here. I was literally messing with it. That is so damn cool. I mean, it is a perfect one. Dude. That's crazy. Just think, this old boy was sitting here, this napped broadhead, trying to sling it into the side of a bighorn sheep. Here I am with $2,000 worth of equipment on my back. $2,000 worth of gear. I can't freaking find one. And this old boy was gonna stab one that. with a rock. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, end of the day, another pretty close to 10 mile round trip. Sheep tracks everywhere, no sheep. So, we're gonna regroup for the morning. And what did you say, Promise? And now? We drink. Booty <laughs> <laughs> spanked. Here we go, part, part two. It's technically part three, I think, since we pulled down wall, wall tent camp on part one. Did a little quick Hanksville base camp on part two. But I'm calling this part two. Anyway, I'm excited. I don't even think I would use the term nervous. We only have a handful of days left. Long time waiting to draw this tag and I'm not even nervous. I'm just excited to spend a few days with good friends, family, and find some old twisty horned sheep that would die of old age if we don't help him out of his predicament with an arrow through his goodies. You're getting about to that age too, aren't you? <laughs> nice mature ram. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're finally getting to hunt again. Last four days of the desert sheep hunt. We did a ton of research last night on Onyx. We found a ram last night, but in a spot that was almost impossible to get to. We found a shoot on Onyx that we believe we're gonna be able to see. Good buddy, lifetime buddy Luke Cranny came down. He's got <laughs> climbing ropes out the wazoo, carabiners. <laughs> if we, uh, we'll do what it takes to get a sheep, I guess. So anyway, we're gonna try to get our way up to the top of this about 400 foot scramble and 
then we should be able to at least communicate and start looking for a sheep. Yeah, I think we attacked that sucker. Let's send it. Hey, Randy, you got a copy? Copy. Okay, we're just doing a radio check. We're up on top. Now I'm gonna start working north out to where we can glass a little better. Any eyeballs on any sheep yet? We haven't been able to pick up a white butt yet. Wish we did. Anyway, good luck over there, Whoop. Copy that. butts off to get where the rams were or the ram was yesterday um, no sheep but Isaiah found a new ram that's about two miles away as the crow flies across three big canyons again so set a pin so I've got a place that at least he and I are tri triangulating on we're gonna go get after him what time is it two um three yeah it's three we've got to, we've got to roll <clears throat> Somebody's gonna get sweaty coming through the pass. Looks like you can get up right there. One spot. Said if we come out by these rocks, we might be able to see the ram. Oh, I got him. I got him. Holy we got a ways to go yet, kids. Time. That's crazy. Very crazy. We spooked a ram. <clears throat> Apparently, he was ran around the back side of that and was peeking over. Could Isaiah thought he could see us. I don't think. I don't think he could because I don't think we could see him. I don't even know if I can say I'm disappointed when. I mean, apparently, Isaiah said he was right there. Either way, the ram's gone. <laughs> oh, sheep suck. The ram we just bumped has gone clear across this giant canyon and he's grading out to go through what we're calling Snake Mesa right now. Oh, 
I'm not even sure I was in the fight. So, hey, buddy, that was an official butt kicking. We never even saw him or heard of him. <laughs> Basically, I think Braxton said it best. He goes, I'll take the just person one of those. Stopped training when they drew a sheep tag. <laughs> the smart ass. <coughs> I'll turn off the light. <coughs> Holy crap, Brady. I've had a lot of nasty nights with you. This, that, one's, up, this one's up near the top. That one's near the top, guy. You mean that non sexually, right? Just since promising the nuke are here. Yeah. Like, like, let's be clear. a mile this way. So I'm guessing the reason they lost him is he's over here. I found me a sheep, baby. Coffee. Just under where Joner finally told us where he was. We'll get out here and get out He's <coughs> way close. Oh, wow. What a cool animal, huh? I mean, it don't matter how big they are, they never stop being cool. <laughs> I think he's, yeah, he's on his knees drinking, Randy. Yeah, they always do. They go down on their knees. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a little pothole of water right there. Do you have his uh, good radio? We're going, Judy? We're going to hunt him. Key word is hunt. This is an archery hunt. I don't think that looking a gift horse in the mouth is a good idea with two days left of the season. Things are interesting. Boy, he can cover a mile a lot faster than we can, Brady. <laughs> One thing about it, it's beautiful. When I drew this tag, I said that I was just gonna enjoy it. Don't let me forget that, Brady, when I start getting my lower lip out and I'm tripping on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hogs hang a little right now, man. We this ram was in a good position to stock, but that's what we've been seeing. They just literally—you'll be watching them even if you're miles away, and all of a sudden they just start walking. Isn't that cool? Wasn't Randy saying that was for eagles or something? This one looks more like a memorial. Clearly not here. <sighs> it's 
It's beautiful. I'll give it that. Yes. Got to soak it in. I would not be beating my own ass in the dirty devil if it were not for a desert sheep tag. Uh, what do you want tonight, Brady? Sob story, sheep. lip trip, deep thoughts. Two days left in the season. We're going to keep being happy, but I'm going to throw this bow off the cliff and grab the gun. For you or the sheep? <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Well, you should have to get rid of the bow. I got a bow tag. That is not going to be pretty. We might be able to go up there. We should have brought a shovel down here. We already knew we were crossing the river. Yeah. And we didn't bring a shovel? Brilliant! <laughs> Silly. How much winch cable does this thing have, you think? Is it 50 or...? Remember this morning, looking at the sunrise, and Promise goes, we're driving into hell. That's right. Sorry I said that. I don't think it's your fault that Jared went full throttle into an icy creek. No. Manifestation, no. Now that you broke all the ice, we're good to go. Let's go hunting. Dang, they're tempted to do it. There's no other rocks that look like this. Then all of a sudden, here one is. What's our plan? Where are we going? First of all, we're going crazy. Most depends on how far it is. Austin says he's found a ram. He's asking how far we are from the wheeler. <laughs> We got a long way to get home. Gosh dang it, buddy. He just went off on a ram walk. Schmuckadilly. Schmuckadilly. In your thoughts. Time to, time to dance with the devil, Brady. Oh, it's still running. As I reflect on this hunt, 
I am logically okay with the fact that I ate my once-in-a-lifetime Utah desert sheep tag. Emotionally, it still hurts, but to quote my oldest son, the hurt is validation that it mattered. The bottom line is that I wanted to kill a sheep with my bow. I wanted to share that moment with a handful of the most important people in my life. And I wanted to look at those sheep horns in my rocking chair years and smile at the memories made in the beautiful, rugged, and rare landscape that is the Dirty Devil. Thankfully, I have the next best thing, a film that captures the incredible experience I had after finally drawing the sheep tag I had started dreaming about all those years ago. And the occasional hurt reminded me that this and every opportunity we are blessed with in the outdoors matters. I wouldn't have it any other way. You good? <laughs> Not sure I am. <laughs> well, the sun is setting on my once in a once in a lifetime tag. A little emotional because it's probably <clears throat> probably unlikely we're going to kill a ram at this stage unless he happens to run, a, run into the road here but we've hunted hard been with <clears throat> amazing friends in the coolest country I've ever seen in my life I think the emotion's more about the relationships um, hunts like these you always have a group of friends Brady, you, Promise we've had a great time a lot of laughs, a lot of frozen butts, <laughs> frozen water bottles. <laughs> it's definitely not been easy conditions, um, but we didn't want it any other way. If I wanted it easy, I wouldn't have put in for a bow tag. <laughs> but I got Randy up there, Austin Atkinson. Luke Cranny's over there. Isaiah was with me a lot on the hunt too. Really blessed. Good buddies. <laughs> All right, put that thing away, I'm done. <clears throat> we should plant one of these. For Jared to find while we're out hiking. He'll never know. Nope. <laughs> <laughs>